Hi guys, oh, welcome back to my channel again, and today we're going to be talking about The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. Now, I listened to this on audio and I really, really enjoyed it. I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. There are some trigger warnings, kind of, in this one. Like, the lady has, um... She drinks a lot and she has to take pills because of her conditions that she's in. And she takes her pills with her alcohol, which you really, A, should never, ever do. But she does somehow. I don't get that. But anyway, beyond that, she has these new neighbors that move in across from her which are which they are called the Russells and she meets this one lady whose name is Jane and they hang out for a little bit and she forms a friendship with this Jane but something happens to Jane and Anna which is our main character sees something across the yard from her through her window that she wasn't technically supposed to see so this is what you would call a definitely thriller novel if you will and someone definitely did get murder but Anna is trying to convince the police that she's not crazy because she's taking all these medications that she did see what she's seen and she wasn't hallucinating but the twists and turns, she thinks she knew who the killer was because there's the possibilities who the killer really is, but it keeps you on the edge of your seat until the very end. I don't want to spoil too much, but when I found out who the killer actually was, like, what? I didn't see it coming. I could have because, again, I don't want to give too much away. And sorry, it's pouring right now in the middle of a book review. But we're going to roll with this. So, The Woman in the Window, like I said, I really enjoyed it. I think this is definitely one of my favorite books so far of 2019. I have quite a few others, but mainly this one is a super good and I think from what I've heard this is this author's very first novel it doesn't read that way but I really liked it I liked her character Anna and she has been through a lot in her lifetime and I feel so so bad for her but if you guys are think of willing to check in this out, sorry, my words, bleh, but I would highly recommend you pick up The Woman in the Window. Like I said, it kept me on the edge of my seat. Like, is she crazy? Did she see what got happened across the way from her by looking out her window through her camera? Or did she, you know, make it up? But the truth was she didn't make it up. But it gets solved in the end. I don't want to spoil too much of the ending. But, oh my goodness, please pick up The Woman in the Window. It is so good. promise you won't be disappointed. I, I don't know. You might be, but it is really, really good. And she also connects with the, the kid named Ethan that also moved. That's one of the... He's a Russell, of course, but his character strikes me a little, <laughs> like, I liked him in the very beginning, I will say that, but towards the very end, I'm like, oh, okay, did not foresee that coming at all, but those are the only hints I'm going to give, and yes, just please, please check out The Woman in the Window. You might like it if you like thrill thrillers, if you like stabby stabby mis murder stuff, then this might be your book. 
But anyway, that is just my little short little review of The Woman in the Window, and yeah. And if you guys are new here, go ahead and, you know, hit that little subscribe right down there and the notification bell. And I will see you guys very soon in a new video. Alright, bye.